Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. In this episode, this ancient beauty here on the left running Windows 98, a Gericom machine with 32 megabyte of RAM and a Pentium 1 processor of 166 megahertz shall be connected to the net. This shall occur, if all goes well, via a COM1 connection. That means a null modem connection from one serial port physically on the Gericom to another serial port really being a DB9 to USB adapter. The connection shall be established through this Linux machine, which shall be channeling all traffic over its wireless LAN card. Now, it is my hope, but it will be quite experimental to determine whether it will be fulfilled, that this is going to happen via SLIP, Serial Line IP Protocol, which is a very convenient and stable way to turn a serial connection into a network connection. It was really sort of the original dial-up protocol before dial-up became more consumerized, in consequence of which PPP gained popularity. Looking at the commands, they are really nothing all that special as they are what you have seen me already do in my attempts to bring DOS online. First, you're turning your TTY USB 0 interface into a network connection at the speed of 56K. 56K is 5,700, is 57,600 baud. Then, would be nice to give the new found SL0 interface an IP address and tell it who the other side is. Then we are adding a route and optionally, but I do deem usefully, we might start a netcat listener over here just to see that the connection is being established so far. Once and if this is successfully established, we can turn on the IP forwarding, as well as channel everything as planned through the wireless card. So the Linux side of affairs is rather simple. It is the Windows side of affairs, which is a little bit more interesting. I have turned on here the control panel. The system is in German, but I'll continue my descriptions in English. I think you will be able to follow along. I noticed that a lot of things are not installed. So I don't know whether this will be successful. That's what I'm saying. Now, looking at the system, I think the next thing I needed to do, and I'm a little bit rusty in this myself, but I have the choice of either doing it perfectly after I have done it before, or having an adventure with you, and I picked the adventure with you. So that's why things will be a little bit, you know, hit and miss, guess and fail. Let's see what happens. Now, the next step will be, of course, to add a modem, right? Click on further to continue. And now the modem shall be, of course, the null modem cable, but I don't like to add it as a null modem cable because Windows does not allow me to establish a speed for it. At least in the past, it has always insisted that the cable has a speed of 19,200 baud and exactly that. Nothing else would be taken. Is the hardware in the list? No, it's not in the list. Shall it be searching plug and play style? No, just assume it's not in the list. I, I want to do this myself. What is it? It's a modem. Okay, I'm lying. Shall I choose the modem manually without my automatic recognition? Yes, I would like to choose it manually. I don't want an automatic recognition. It shall be a standard 56K BPS V90 modem. See how, 
how normal and nice things are. Here you also have the standard baud rates. This is something which is nowadays often lost because when somebody tells you it's a 56k modem, it isn't actually exactly. But Okay, so we're having also other speeds that I would find worthy of exploration should this for any reason not work out. Where is it? It's on COM1. Modem is being installed. Please wait. I shall. Find it interesting that the modem apparently can also be installed on the infrared connection. It gave me such an option. That, that's interesting to note. So if you're having two ancient laptops with infrared connections running Windows 98, you can undertake a simultaneously very science fiction-ish and very retro connection. Well, are you in Austria? <sighs> yes. And what phone number shall we be dialing? Nothing. And then tone or pulse dial. I don't think I need to specify anything. Maybe it is now annoying me that I may need to, 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 to say something, uh, uh, that I need to give some dialing thing. Maybe if I say US and just continue. No, it needs to be given. Okay, it's not optional. Okay, zero. <sighs> Zero would be nice, but I need to handle the numlock state uh, before I can write zero. Yeah, changed something in the BIOS. Now it is revenging with messing up my numlock. Now oh, the modem is configured. Done. Cute. Where is the modem? Was it on the network? The network is incomplete. Do you want to continue? Yes, but I'm unhappy. Why is it incomplete? What does that even mean? Okay, I'm canceling it. And restarting it again. Settings. Is it or is it not over here? This is now also going to be a little usability study regarding what we are having. Hardware. Uh, there's also an option modems just right, uh, right uh, under hardware. That, that's good. Let's try that. Yes, that's our modem. And I can now give its dialing parameters. I see nothing that I would care about. Diagnosis. I don't really bother about this. And properties. The top speed shall be 57,600. Shall it be loud or, or silent? It doesn't really matter. Here, more interestingly, data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1. And then extended as well as connection settings. Okay, let's look at extended. Shall we have a data flow control? Hardware or software with Xong Xof? Let's not. And here connection settings. I don't think I need to touch that. Okay. Diagnosis. I don't see what diagnosis we would be needing. So I essentially, have I connected my modem without having to restart? Maybe I have to restart.
Well, well, well. I'm a bit puzzled that the network is telling me that it is incomplete. The restart on this machine does not take long. I shall just simply do it to see what happens. This is interesting as I would have rather expected to see something else. I would have much more expected to see my modem as a possible network connection that I could assume. It looks like Windows 98 froze. It's a very, very authentic thing for it to do, you know? Control Alt Dell. Yeah, of course. You would freeze, why wouldn't you? safe mode uh, no let's go for normal but but show me what you're doing i pressed escape to see do we have here any messages The symbol for the disk down there a moment ago was flashing. And now does so no longer. I am decisively unhappy. Control Alt Delete again because apparently, apparently, does not want to start. That's not good. Shall we take the safe mode? Yeah, let's take the safe mode. Has anything harder broken or are things still in general terms working? We're still having here the symbol of the disk running. We also can hear it seeking. Yeah, Windows does start in safe mode. Awesome. So trying to add the modem. Yeah, I know that you're being used in safe mode. Trying to configure the modem, unfortunately, merely had the effect of preventing Windows 98 from booting. I don't know, can I remove the modem again? But let us say
I should get rid of whatever I did. It's it's so funny that it doesn't have, you know, such a like reset thing. It, it does not have these points of system configuration which you can save before doing anything. No, it's like you go ahead, you mess up your system just like I did right now. And then you pray to God that you're able to do something. Nine. Okay. I will try to remove my modem. Okay, I cannot execute the hardware wizard. Not while in safe mode. If I go here towards my modems, the graphics are terrible. Can I remove it though? And fan. It's gone. Modem is gone. Beenden, neu starten. Alt Shift S. I will handle my BIOS um, Control Alt S. Ah, too late. We are still seeing this move. The start takes decisively longer than hitherto, where the machine was up again nearly immediately. If you ever wonder whether you should be doing things in an emulated way or whether you would like to do that in a, a real way with a real machine, then I hope adventures such as these may provide you with some clarity which of the two you might prefer. Awesome. I'm just seeing a black screen and that's all I'm seeing. I mean, really, just what are you doing? What What is this? This is nonsense. How did you reach this stage in your life? Ladies and gentlemen, this experiment is failing it looks like i will need to handle my windows 98 machine in general i'm exceedingly happy that i created the backup of it it will be an interesting question of course whether the hard disk is saying goodbye or whether something else is happening thank you very much for joining today we're not going into the internet we're not going anywhere see you next time and let us see whether we will be able to bring this old battle station up to proper service. Thank you for joining. Have a great day and goodbye. Post dictum back in the game. And that happened by selecting not safe mode, but saying normal launch with bootlog text. And then it just booted. Fun fact. The bootlog text file it created is a hidden file. It's like, how about we create a file which is showing you on the C drive how the boot went. Maybe you can see what went wrong. And then saying, haha, but we'll make the file hidden.